This video will show you how to get your Yeti Blue mic working again for your Mac. I'm assuming that you've already made sure that your physical USB cable is not damaged or that the microphone is not damaged and that you've already set up your security and privacy settings to allow the microphone to access your Mac's operating system. There are three major steps to getting your Yeti Blue back for Mac OS. The first thing we need to do is remove some applications that are known to cause problems. Then we're going to run a couple of terminal commands, and then we're going to double check to make sure that a few files that might exist inside of your library folder have been removed. The first thing we need to do is remove Sherpa, remove Ghub, and remove Blue Voice if you have any of those installed. I'd like to use something called App Cleaner. The link to install App Cleaner is in the video description. Once you have App Cleaner installed and running, you can drag any application icon into this window or simply search for it inside of App Cleaner and then hit remove. For example, if I wanted to look for Ghub, I could search for Ghub and if it appeared in the list, I could select it and then click remove. Make sure Ghub, Blue Sherpa, and Blue Voice have been removed from your Mac. Then you can quit the App Cleaner app. Then go to your applications folder into utilities and launch the terminal app. We're gonna run a number of commands in terminal that will remove some preferences and reset the core audio settings on your Mac. With terminal open, we need to run two commands. The first command is going to remove any audio preferences files that are likely corrupt and preventing your Yeti Blue from showing up in your sound input. After entering the command, press enter, and it will remove the audio preferences files in my case, I've already removed them, so it's telling me no such file or directory exists. The next command we're going to run is going to reset the core audio process. Enter in the command or copy and paste it from the video description below. Press enter to execute the command, and if necessary, enter in your Mac's admin login password. Now that you've run those commands, you can quit terminal and then we're going to head over to a new finder window and remove some files from the library folder. With your finder window open, navigate to your Mac's hard drive, then expand library, then expand audio, and then expand plugins. Expand the HAL folder, and inside the HAL folder, look for a file called logigamingaudio.driver and delete that file. I have a Telestream audio capture driver here, which I rely on for doing my screen recording. So I'm going to leave that in place. While you're here, look for any files related to Ghub, Blue Voice, Sherpa, and sometimes even Zoom and remove those files. Once all those files are removed, you can go ahead and close all of these folders, then scroll down and expand the extensions folder. And inside of the extensions folder, Look for a file named logi underscore audio underscore override dot kext and go ahead and delete that file as well. The last thing we need to do is scroll down to the preferences folder, expand the preferences folder, then expand the audio folder and look for a file called com.apple.audio.devicesettings.plist and delete that file. While you're here, go ahead and delete the com.apple.audio.systemsettings.plist, and both of these files will be regenerated after you restart your Mac. That's the last step. All you have to do now is restart your Mac, and your Yeti Blue should show up inside of your sound settings as an input option. If this video helped you out, please share it on all of the social networks where you might have looked for the solution before. And if it didn't work for you, let me know down in the comments and I'll see if I can help you out. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing and sharing this video for me. Thank you.